Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Now this microphone had better be working. There's an easy way to explain it and there's a specific way. The easy way is settings were fucked up. The difficult way... <sighs> I'm recording at 48,000 hertz on OBS and as a backup on Audacity. But the microphone I'm using, for some reason the settings was set to 44.1 hertz or something like that. So I fixed that. Now everything should be recording, be recording at 48,000 hertz. Oh, okay. Time to move on. We're going. We're traveling somewhere, right? Ooh. Are these all the plants we can go to? So wait. Where are we now? We're at. We're at Terra too. So can we go to like different places on the planets or is it just like that one area in Terra 2? All right, there's Phineas's lab, Groundbreaker. Independent orbital station in the remains of Hilkin's first colony ship. Captained by Junal Tennyson, Tenson. I was going to say Tennyson. And run by descendants of the original crew. Wait, is that the one we were saved from? Hang on. What's my... You tell me this after I back out? Oh, Gladys is on the Groundbreaker. That's not where I came from. Where's my ship? Like the one uh, that guy Phineas, Phineas saved me from. Maybe I'll find it later. Off to the Groundbreaker. Oop, wait. There we go. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. That was fast. Thank you, Ada. Uh, Can we talk? Sure. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? It is Tennyson. Is she a descendant of Benjamin? She can't be that good. Uh, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can of Borston Beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. Uh... Are you asking me to leave my crew and join hers? Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long as I'm welcome. I figured June Lay and I could confabulate over wireless or by message. And maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Okay. I mean, I'll visit her maybe, but I don't know what this is saying. I don't think you have much help, but if you happen to be along, feel free to speak up about what? Like, go to her? Alright, I'll say this. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Not really, unless you did. Move along. Am I asking her to leave? I don't want that. I want you with me for all and forever. Alright, to the Groundbreaker. Oh, so you can have up to six? Oh, select up to two. Alright, I want Parvati. <laughs> That's all I have. So I'm guessing there are a total of six companions in the game. Okay. We're just welcome here, right? No one's going to hurt us. Jane Elson, uh, I don't need to talk to you. Gotta find... That's not the point. This half would just go one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get you with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. You trick. That's interesting. Okay. Parvati follow me? Maybe she went to go talk to Gladys. Customs and inspection, right this way! Uh, I have to inspect? Uh, I'm clean. Identification, please. Ooh. Yeah, I got Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Uh oh. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. What? <laughs> Take it back. 
Oh, thank the law. I can use a diversion. Tell me more then. Really sell it to me. Okay. Um. He died. Not fond of that story. It lacks dazzle. What else have you got? Hmm. He abducted me. <laughs> Help. I like where this is headed. What happened to this uh, vile kidnapper? Um, he's dead. You must feel terrific. Good for you. Not in the least. Good story, though. Damn it. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. God damn it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I have to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Who? Oh. All right. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Are you serious? No. no. Hold on, it'll just take a minute. No. All right, all right, no need to get hostile. We're all friends here on Groundbreaker. Mostly. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um... Yeah, Gladys? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. You should have made me not Hawthorne. That if I would have done your stupid job for you, bitch. All right, I think that one's Gladys. Uh oh, why are those red? Oh. For you. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that Where am I going? Is this a door? Ooh. A hard cider for a hard life. Okay. Uh rest and go. Here we go. Lattice? They have sprouts here too. Hello. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? You got cookies? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. I love those kind. I could trade with her. Uh, Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Well, then you better help me, or but I'll take you down us, with me. Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits... I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. By bits, do you mean money or balls? 10,000 bits! Okay, money. No one's ever found my bits lacking. Uh... A discount? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Couldn't see Real that. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Oh, whoa. Okay, uh, don't worry about the opportunity then. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Perfect. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Do you know Edna over in engineering? I just Sweet got here. Key, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. 
and Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Why was that abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Thank you. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. All right, Bandit Outpost, Corporate Secrets, perfect Don't day. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Uh, you have anything to trade? Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Probably see her later. She has like a Dwayne Johnson size bicep. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill, and that is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. These are. So... Wait, why is that restricted? Okay, well, what can I sell you? Junk? Where's my junk? Oh. Bye, junk. Uh, armor parts, shunts. Mr. Ouch? Oh, these are weapon mods. Bunch of med stuff I haven't even looked at. Armor. I think I have a lot of the same armor, but I could probably dismantle them. Yeah, I'll just keep what I have weapon and armor wise. Ooh. That's a good looking safe. Only nine. Eight numbers? All right, did I level up? I guess I did. Okay. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked the dialogue combat when s skill. When attacking the correct, when attacking the correct type of target, they're automatically debilitated. What? You know, I should really look at these because I haven't even read through these yet. I'm just picking at random. It's usually how I do this. Alright, let's go with the durability loss. When do I get these? Do I get five perks from here? Alright. Uh, let's worry about getting the reliable back after I get that nav key from Gladys. Double click jump when moving forward. <laughs> Leap! Whoa. Perfect blocks. Uh, Alright, so it's counterattacks. Bells, shells. Wait, where am I going again? I'm just back to you. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. You've been sitting the entire time. Yes, dearie? What did you want me to do again? I kind of zoned out. <laughs> Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway. Oh, so I have to get it back anyway. Where that distress anywhere. signal I told you about came from. And ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a fellow like you, I'd think. Alright, down to Roseway. Got it. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Woo! Pur Here, take a candy Purple with you. Purple berry bunch. Thank you. She's like a sweet old grandma. So wait, can I even go back to my ship or do I have to go talk to... That guy. Try and get it like sorted out. Yeah, you won't let me uh, go on, will you? Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded, and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. Fuck you. Does it seem hot near to you? I ain't felt so much as a tepid breeze in weeks. I hope Miss Chief Tennyson gets that fixed soon. Whew. I'm starting to feel like a sisty roast in all this armor. What am I trying to do here? Okay, I thought I was trying to get her nude or something. I'd surely love to, but that's just not my bailiwick. What? You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. His office is on the promenade. Great. Have yourself a pleasant day. You too. Can I just jump over? 
No. Okay. Can I steal from this? These people are assholes. Am I hidden? Does this, does this count as hidden? How do I know when I'm hidden? There's no icon. So wait, also, I have that quest for... Pravati, right? Oh, set active. Yeah, she's pretty close by. I'm not a big fan of side quests, but... I am interested to see, like, if they're... Like, important companion storylines. Because I remember they were good in, like, New Vegas and stuff. That'd be great if, like, these ad... Things didn't give out, like, free samples. Go back to Byzantium, you, gold you got any samples? Have you seen this man? Reward offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. How much? How much is the reward? Have you seen this man? Okay, reward no free samples, even though that's... Oh, hello. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Uh, nope. I mean, I could get in there. I don't know why they would let me right past them, but okay. Oh my god, what is this with this? Is it's hot in here. Tennyson, what the hell? Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh, Baxel. Hi. My ship's grounded at the moment. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I hope not either. I have to end some. Ain't that always the way? Look so at that steam you off your shoulders. I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, it's kind of right. Um... Yeah. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. Ooh, really? We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, don't I have to introduce Pavadi? Yeah, what's with the warmth? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. No room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Huh. I'm smart. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. 10,000 credits. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Um, uh, is there a catch? The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Miscreants. What are those exactly? All right, I'll get those parts, probably. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. I was just trying to introduce my friend to you. I don't know where she is. Did she come with me? It is hot. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. There's a self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I yelled at that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. Can I blow up the ship? <laughs> okay. You've got my attention. Uh, I don't know where the fuck Pravati is. Uh, did she even come with me? She might be stuck on the ship. Okay. I gotta go talk to this Bedford guy to get my ship unlocked or whatever. I swear, if this guy gives me, like, another side quest, I'm gonna blow his brains out. Release my ship. Ah, yes. Nice mustache. Really messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. 
And you are not he. How do you know that? Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh. I'm going to wring your ne your scrawny neck, you spread fuck. <laughs> Give me back my ship. <laughs> uh, hang on. Uh, oh, I, I see. All right. Another time, then. I just... I have to see his reaction. <laughs> I just have to see what he says. There's no need for hysterics. This is all a hilarious misunderstanding. Holy shit, that worked. Did you hear me chuckle? Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. That was easy. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... No. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Can't say Did I have. Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? I like Wells. He set me free. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, but tell me why you're interested. You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Uh, why do you think I know anything about Wells? Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. I'm not Alex. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Sorry, was Alex going to betray Wells then? Good thing he died. No, he never mentioned Wells. That's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. I can wring your neck out oh, if you want. I'm sorry. Give you a little ring thing. Terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Uh, I don't care about the board having your head. I don't know where he is. I don't want to ask you anything else. Okay, bye. Thank you for giving me my ship back. Ooh, what is this? Would that be bad if I hack it? Wait. You take away a crew's plumbing, you take away their privacy and dignity. So let's get that toilet fixed. Fix the toilet. Okay. Ooh, from Iceman. The guy from X-Men. Iceman. Alright, this is way too long. You can all read it. You can pause the video. You can read it. Iceman out. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, even more. Okay. Uh, food situation, I don't care. Ship and pounded my ship. I didn't pay my fees, I just threatened to choke his neck out. Alright, oh, I didn't really read it, so don't thank me for listening. I didn't read it. What do you gotta say now, bitch? My ship is mine again. Hey there. Wow. Okay. Be seeing you. Bye. What are these? Oh, vendors. Who are you? You got a second? Hi. Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew. So I wandered by just to take a closer look. Got to hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. And what do you have to offer? Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Fair enough, you're hired. I didn't hear anything. All right, consider this your interview. Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. What's the value of pie? Uh... It's delicious. Damn it. He's right. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top. Classic. I was going to say the same thing. Perfect you're hired. Uh, you're good in a fight. Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a toss ball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. 
That's a promise. All right, what's your biggest flaw? The foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Well, are you calling me an idiot? If you don't listen to me, you're out. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Oh boy. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. <sighs> You're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. It was the pie question Thanks, that boss. sent me over the edge. You're not going to regret you this. Even though that was the first question. All right, Felix, let's go. You coming? Felix? Felix? Felix, come on. Somehow I always find my way back to the groundbreaker. You haven't left. Head back to the ship. Whatever you say, boss. I'll see you back there. Oh, he's a ghost. Uh, hopefully I don't leave Parvati here. I believe oh. I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Thinking of tinkering at the workbench? I used to love watching Alex work. I wasn't really... Now I like watching you. That's creepy. Where are these two? Just want to make sure I'm not leaving Parvati behind. She said she wanted to go see that person and she hasn't left. Oh, there you two are. Okay, okay, okay. So I was watching this program. Guess who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang Girl Detective? Mr. Birdie Holcomb, that toss baller! Wow, are you serious? I gotta get a copy of that. Hey, how come you didn't come with me? Something busted, Captain? Or wait, do you not want to go meet her? You want me to just get her for you? Can I play darts? Okay, let's at least head over to that place. I can't believe I got my own bunk. You're welcome. Oh, here it has a perk available. Um, let's give him more health. I don't really like the fact that I can make him more threatening or less threatening. Just keep him as is. That's a big gun. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Okay. We can leave now. What's the quest again? Patches a nerf nav key, but I have to get... I have to go to this place. Oh, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, can you play a back uh, stress call? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Just also, of that. corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Uh, okay. Wait, entertainment. You got entertainment? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Can you tell me a joke? You could. How do linear algebraists settle arguments about matrix transposes? With a duo. I don't get it. What's my favorite song? Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Okay. As you wish, Captain. 
I must comply with all direct orders. Um. See you soon, Captain. All right, let's go over to the Roseway place. Oh, there are there's different places you can go to. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. That was fast. Okay. Uh, let's go down. And I think I could bring both of them, Felix and Pravati. Good luck, Captain. Thanks, Ada. Yeah, I can bring them both. Okay. Okay. I know we. No guards, huh? I like this place already. Me too. That is some serious heat coming out of those exhausts. Okay, I know we just got here, but I really don't want to spend another hour and a half recording in case this audio's fucked up. What's this? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. Next part, we'll explore this area, probably get what we need and go. I think we're just... Is this a, res is this a rescue mission? We have to get those three people? You don't know anything. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.